studios in New York City. This is Charlie Rose. Good evening. Charlie's not here tonight. He's visiting the shrink, the TV interview shrink. He's getting a lot of criticism from uh, viewers uh, that he's been talking too much on the show and not listening enough to the guests. And finally, there was a big staff meeting, and uh, it was decided that uh, possibly this uh, criticism was justified and uh, that he should try and do something about it. So uh, that's where he is tonight. He's at the TV interview shrink, and I'm going to uh, uh, play the part of Charlie and interview myself. I am the guest tonight. My name is Jack Spiegelman. I'm a writer <clears throat> here to promote my new book. It's called Shooting Pigeons. So let's get started. All right, I'm Charlie. My guest tonight is a writer. His name is Jack Spiegelman. He's written a book called Shooting Pigeons that's uh, number one on the bestsellers list. It's a huge success. And um, this is Jack's first visit to the show. I'm very pleased to have him on this broadcast. Jack, welcome to the show. Thank you, Charlie. Happy to be here. Let's talk about uh, the book. Um, I've read the book, actually. Normally I don't do that because I'm very busy, as you know. And But my staff uh, was so enthusiastic about this book that they uh, prevailed upon me to read it myself. And I've done so, and I have to say it's a fantastic book. It's a wonderful book. It's very, very funny. Um, entertaining, it's very informative, you cover a lot of ground in this book, and um, I think it's terrific. Um, and I would, here's the book, I love the cover, by the way, uh, see if we can get tight on that cover, it's a beautiful cover, there we go, yeah, shooting pigeons, you can see the, the little head of the pigeon is in the crosshairs of a telescopic uh, site. Um, very effective, I think. So, also, um, the blurbs uh, on the book are terrific. You didn't write these yourself, did you, Jack? No, oh, Charlie didn't do that. Um, I have to read these. These are great. Uh, it says, uh, Jack Spiegelman could write about standing in line at the DMV waiting to apply for plates and turn it into a masterpiece. Alan Bloom, Chicago Herald Examiner. This one is from uh, Joseph Nassero, uh, Miami Star Telegram. Joseph says, quote, Mario Puzo said, writing is like hanging around the house all day, waiting for the phone to ring. Mr. Spiegelman has been getting some good calls. It's pretty good, Jack. Um, it's a little description of the book here. Nazis, hookers, Italian food. What else is there? Jack Spiegelman covers it all in this brilliant and hilarious collection. It's great, Jack. Also, uh, I like this. Uh, most books have a photograph of the author on the back, as you know. Jack has a painting uh, of himself, and uh, it's a great painting, actually. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Yes, there it is, a little closer. It's a great painting. And um, you painted it yourself, right? I mean, it's a self-portrait, correct? Yes, I'm also a painter. Um, I think you uh, mentioned that, and uh, one of the pieces is called uh, The Difference Between Painting and Writing. It's a very interesting piece. And um, also, the other thing, Jack, that's very... Um, that I like very much is the fact that you published this book yourself, isn't that correct? Um, yeah, that's correct, Charlie, I did publish it myself. Why did you do that? Well, the situation was this. Um, well, in fact, Jack, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but I think you mentioned it in the book, uh, why you published, uh, decided to publish the book yourself. Uh, I read that piece, and um, it was pretty... I want to read from that because I found this pretty interesting. This is a piece called uh, The Difference Between Painting and Writing. 
Jack says, um, there are many differences between painting and writing, but the most profound difference is this. Painting has a life. It exists. That is the issue. The painting you can hang on the wall. You can give to a friend. Even if it sucks, they will be thrilled. Writing is different. Writing must be published. Writing is a circuit. It begins somewhere out in the void and enters the writer's head and through his fingers into the word processor and onto the blank page and from there over to the printer and is completed by the reader reading. The step from manuscript to printed page is crucial. Without the reader, you have nothing. Manuscripts don't count. The work is not written to be read by a friend. Friends despise this. They would rather have their fingernails pulled out one at a time. <laughs> That's pretty good, Jack. And um, it's also very true because I have a lot of friends who are always trying to get me to read their books. And it's a very touchy subject, as you know. And uh, uh, you, you can't, um, just can't ask a friend to read your own stuff. It never works. So, yeah, so it's a good thing to do. You uh, couldn't find a publisher, so you published it yourself, you know, and uh, believed in the book and that there was an audience for it. And uh, so you acted on that belief, and uh, the results uh, speak for themselves. I mean, the book is number one, and uh, it's doing great. You're selling a zillion copies, and uh, God bless you, Jack.